So I found this 9 meter or 30 feet piece of fabric in the thrift store and I turned it into a big dress with an open back with bows, a full circle skirt and a little brim to add some extra length. And I forgot the most important part, it has pockets! Okay, let's get into the video. In this part, I'll show you how I made my circle skirt with gathered brim and pocket. One thing you need to know about me is that I'm obsessed with circle skirts. Making a circle skirt is relatively simple. You need to measure your waist if you want to add in a zipper and your butt or the part where you want to pull the skirt over when you want to make it with an elastic and you divide this part by 6.28 or double pi. But not a good tasting pie now, the matte pie. Next, take your fabric, fold it in four, and now you can use your measurement to draw a little circle on top of the corner. For the length, you need to draw a big circle. So you need to add the length of your little circle that you just measured to your desired skirt length, and with this you draw a second circle, and then you cut this all out. You need a lot of fabric to make a long full circle skirt, so if your fabric is not big enough like mine was, you divide the measurement of your little circle by two and you draw two half circle skirts to make one big circle. If you want to see this in more detail, I will link a video down below where I explain this better. And now it's time for the most important part of this entire video. I'm talking pockets. Useful pockets not that shit that women get it cheats. So to make these, I simply copied the shape of a pocket pattern that I found online and I cut it out and then I cut it out again and again until I had four pocket pieces that I will place inside my skirt and I place them 20 centimeters down. Give me a second to look up how much that is an inch. According to Google, this is 7.8 inches. Then I sewn the pockets to the skirt pieces with a simple straight stitch. Next, I pinned the full skirt and the pockets together and then I sew along them with a simple straight stitch, but I lost the footage here, but it's not difficult. Just keep a sewing, just keep sewing, just keep sewing with a straight stitch. And now it's time to make the brim. So in order to do this, I measured the length of my circle skirt and then I cut a piece of fabric from around 20 centimeters in width and the length is one and a half times the length of my circle skirt. You can also multiply this by two if you want to have a lot of gatherings. Then I cut, ironed and sewn until I had a piece that was long enough to cover this up. And now it's time to gather this strap. I prefer to gather my fabric by zigzag stitching a piece of rope on top. The zigzag stitch cannot be inside of the rope, otherwise this will not work. Once you did this along the whole strap, you can easily pull and shovel um, the fabric over the rope and this will gather the fabric. I prefer using this technique because the rope will not break as easily as a simple piece of thread will. So next I started gathering up my fabric. This took me 10 to 15 minutes and then I started fitting it around my skirt. So I used pins to pin it all around the skirt and I did this to have the strap into the right size of the skirt and this way I could adjust a little bit if it was not the right size. Once I got the right size I knotted the two threads at the end and then I equalized the fabric a bit so it, the gathering looked good and next I put my iron on top of this. I don't really know why I did this, I think it was a tip that I got from someone on Facebook and I always do this because this is supposed to make your gathering look more beautiful and professional. And once the ironing was done, I sewn it to the edge of my skirt with a simple straight stitch and this is how you finish the brim. And to finish off the skirt, I made a waistband with an elastic in the back. So I cut a strap 
from a width of 12 centimeters or 40.7 inches and I added some inner facing and then I pinned the strap to the skirt and sewn it in place. Now I have a waistband but I also want an elastic in the waistband so I pinned my elastic to the waistband and then I cut it a little bit bigger than the half of the back side. To sew this I first backstitch the edge a few times then you pull this in the length that you want it to be and then you simply sew it with a zigzag stitch. I sewn this twice so it would stay stuck. If you sew the elastic on the top of the waistband you can easily well it's not that easy but you can fold it down and sew this with a straight stitch to finish off your waistband and the skirt. And after you are done patting yourself on the back and treating yourself with a good glass of champagne for making such a great skirt, it's time to move on to the top. I mostly make my bodices by copying a t-shirt with a good fit. Once I got my piece cut out, I moved on to the neckline. I ironed it in the middle to be sure that the point of my neckline would be where it's supposed to be. Then I cut out a round slash triangle neckline in a depth of my liking. You can make your cleavage as low or as not low as possible as long as you are comfortable. You go girl. Now I'm going to make the back piece by copying the front piece. So I folded it double and then I also ironed a little piece double so I would have some room for the open back and the bows. If you don't want this then don't do the ironing part. Then I copied the back body twice until I had my three pieces. I want my pieces to be double sided because I like having a layer that takes up my sweat. So I copied them on this cotton curtain that I bought in the thrift store. And once they were all neatly copied, I ironed them and then I sewn around the edges of the bodies, but I left an opening so I could turn it around easily. Once it was turned around, I ironed it flat and then I top stitched nicely along the tops to give it a neat finish. And here you have my top pieces, now it's time to set them together in a long loving relationship. Then I pinned my pieces together. I'm not really what they would call a precision, so my pieces didn't come out equally, but this wasn't a problem as I just pinned them that they would be equally and I cut off the excess pieces later. So I sewn them with a simple straight stitch but I lost that footage so this is all what you will ever see of it. I'm very sorry for that. So here you have my final result and I think it's very neatly especially because the pieces didn't fit that good when I had cut them so I'm quite happy with my end result. And now it's time for I personally find the best part of this dress, le moment supreme, the bows on the back. They are really easy to make. I just cut two squares, one smaller one and one bigger one. And then I also add some inner facing on the back to make them a little bit harder and more bow-like. And then I pinned these pieces to the edge of my dress and I sewn this. And I filmed this really badly. That's also a mandatory step, filming yourself in a bad angle. And now I'm going to make a little loops to shove over the squares to turn them into bows. So I got them from a waistband that I made but that I had to remake because it wasn't good. And I put li cut little squares of these, folded them over and sewn them. And now I'm going to turn them around. This was a little hard and I had some mouth work that I needed to do with this. And your dentist probably wasn't advised, so don't do it. But it worked at the end. Then I sewn them into loops. It's best when you sew them from both sides because it's hard to do it at once because of the shape of the loops. And then I shoved the loops over my squares and I attached the other side of the bow and da -da 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 -da, here you have the finished dress. 
And that finishes the video. Here we have the dress again. I wore it on my recent trip to Portugal and I really love this footage of it. And please notice the man standing behind me on the beach. That happens when you try to make good footage on crowded places. But I did edit it. I'm out to respect his privacy. Okay, I'm rambling at this point. So I will wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Like please, leave a comment and subscribe if you want to. Thank you. Bye. See you next time, hopefully.